hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is paula nanya and in today's video we're going to be talking about five signs that you could be using the wrong moisturizer yeah if you know that you fall under this category and you want to know more about what i'm talking about stay to the end of this video and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to this channel let's get into it you know that skincare, skin routine, from person to person, okay? My skin routine is different from your skin routine. But it's a normal thing that the skincare regimen itself must carry moisturizer. You must have a moisturizer in that routine. And if you are using a product more than once a day, like you're using it in the morning and in the night, you want to actually feel confident. You want to feel good about yourself. You want to feel good and show off your skin that this product is actually working. I know you're having a lot of doubts about the product itself and, you know, having a lot of complaints on your So face. you want to be confident enough to know that this product is actually helping you and not hurting you. So whenever you notice any changes at all, be it a good change, negative change, you should actually be able to know, to identify that the product you're using, the moisturizer you're using is actually working for you and it's not causing harm. And you're not just stuck in one place. You are actually making, you're actually seeing improvement and your skin is actually getting better. But here, I want to tell you now that if you're actually using this product and you've used this for a period of time and you start to notice things changing abnormally it's best advice that you meet a dermatologist or your skincare therapist okay those are the two people that you can meet if your skincare therapist refers you to your dermatologist please go and meet a dermatologist just because a skincare therapist helps to maintain your skin with your skin routine Okay, they help to give you the regular facials. They help to maintain, help you to treat like the basic skincare issues. That is what a skincare therapist is going to do. But your dermatologist is going to help you to go deep in to find out what is really happening and prescribe products for you or drugs you could take to help solve the issue on a science general skin level okay let's understand the difference because i can see that there are a lot of confusion out there about what a skin therapist does and what a dermatologist does just to be clear i have said this so many times on my channel it's very important for you to know your skin type <laughs> like it's a necessity you need to know your skin type as much as they say you need to know your blood type you need to know your genotype you need to know your skin type. It, it helps greatly when it comes to you doing something for your skin. You helping your skin. It's just like you going to treat yourself. You say, go to the hospital. Ah, please, doctor. Eh, please, I beg. Just give me, give me that, that medicine that you give to that woman. Eh, give me that medicine that you give to that woman. We're having the same symptom. I don't understand. You need to get tested. You need to know what is wrong with you. You need to understand how, okay, is this drug going to have side effects? You need to understand all of these things before you start to take someone else's drug. Same thing for skincare. You need to understand what your skin needs, your skin type, and how exactly you need to target, you know, the problems. So you cannot just come and start using another person's product just because it works for the other person. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't work that way. When you do that, you only set yourself up for failure. And that's the truth. And not just knowing your skin type is enough. You need to understand your skin. So understanding your skin in the sense that you understand that your skin would change depending on the weather your geographical location and seasons yes your skin will actually change depending on the weather 
the location you are in and season so sometimes it might not be your moisturizer but sometimes it can be the condition you're in the place you're in the weather what it's like so you know exactly what to do or oh, do i need to go a little bit heavy on this moisturizer do i need to like tone it down a little do i need to just like free the moisturizer already you know you need to know when to apply all these things and what kind of ingredients you need to apply into your skin regime just because the weather is not doing fine your location is crappy or it's not even going to help at all or maybe the season you know you just need to know all these things how well your skin does in this different situation or these different factors all these factors affect the way your skin would be be it in a positive way or in a negative way so you need to just know you just have to so now the main reason why you're here right let's talk about this warnings this warning signs that you're going to see to let you know that hmm i think my moisturizer is a problem or there are other things i need to look at in my routine or it's time for me to change that my moisturizer i've been using for three years to a new one to upgrade it because you know skincare ingredients come out like your new phones as iphone 14 has come out now there's a new ingredient out there that would better help your skin and get you to where you want to go to in terms of your skin goals okay so now the very first thing i'm going to tell you about or the very first thing we're going to be talking about as a warning sign is rashes and redness guys calm down let me explain myself when you experience rashes and redness yeah it's usually common because i mean you might just have a sensitive skin that's why i said you should know your skin type so you're only going to irritate your skin if you actually if you actually fall under the sensitive type the sensitive skin type and then you're using something that irritates your skin now for sensitive skin they would prefer to have or to to um in to use they'll prefer to use moisturizers that are mild and also fragrance free because for a sensitive skin a lot of things can irritate it very quickly so you need to watch to be sure that your moisturizer is not too harsh it doesn't have like really annoying ingredients it's mild to your skin and i mean it doesn't have fragrance that is going to irritate your skin because you fall under this category sensitive skin type you need to understand that so when you notice rashes and you notice redness you should meet your dermatologist or you speak to your skincare therapist like i said you need to meet these people because you cannot really solve it yourself because you don't know what's going on you cannot just keep using this product because you do not know that this is why it's a problem and that is why you don't randomly buy products because you see people use them okay not because a skin influencer tells you to that it's amazing on her skin or his skin or not because i come up here and i tell you this moisturizer is very wonderful i would first of all have told you my skin type i'm an oily skin babe okay so i would not advise you if you're sensitive skin to use my kind of moisturizer i would have already told you my skin type and it's now for you to go and do your research list out the type of ingredients you need and you go and do your research meet a dermatologist to help you do this process you cannot do skincare on your own nobody ventures into it on their own you need to consult someone you need to learn somewhere you need to study what your skin needs that's why you first of all test your skin okay you cannot go to the hospital and say oh ah, doctor doctor i think i think i'm short of blood and then they ask you okay so what's your blood type and you'll be like eh don't worry don't worry it's the same thing with my mother my mother's own is O. And you, you're like, please don't test, don't worry, don't. I know it. I'm very sure. 
is a lie. They would not give you blood. They would make sure that you're actually that type O before they give you blood. So my dear, know your skin type. It would determine how well your skin will, will glow, how well it will be healthy, how well it would, you know, it would be, how well it will appear. So now, tips. Go for mild moisturizers. Go for fragrance-free. Go for moisturizers that would help to soothe your skin. So maybe hydrating gels. Just leave the creams alone. Just go for hydrating gels that will help soothe your skin. It will help calm your skin. So if you notice all these rashes, make sure you just get something that is going to soothe it make it more relaxed and give it hydration okay Look so products or moisturizers that have ceramides in them ceramides are really important um, um ingredients that would help to soothe your skin calm it and nourish it and it helps to just repair your skin barrier in general okay so that's my tip for so that. the second one i'm going to be talking about is dryness so guys if you know that you've been noticing dryness on your face, like overly excessive dryness, it's not just your, oh, I'm dry skinned and then, or then your oily skin and then you suddenly turn dry. There's something you're doing wrong. Yeah. There's something you're doing wrong. Okay. You need to um, check yourself go back step back what moisturizer are you using maybe this moisturizer is taking out more than it's given so and then you would have damaged your skin barrier and that is why someone who is oily becomes dry that's the only explanation because we the oily people do not just get dry just like that if not that our skin barrier has been damaged so you need to check that and you know change your moisturizer your moisturizer might be the problem you should yeah. try more hydrating to uh, moisturizers like you get yourself um um some mineral oils that would help to you know that will help uh, you with the dryness slugging. okay so slugging is when you put a lot of like moisturizing products on your face and then you seal it in with um, a vaseline so they are different from forms of Vaseline. Is that you use the normal Vaseline that we have or you use products that have like petroleum jelly in them. So it will help to like seal it in and lock it in. And believe me, your face is going to look amazing the next morning. Please do not overdo it. Okay. You can only do it maybe twice in a week. If at all. If at all. Okay. If you must, twice a week is okay. Don't do more than that. It's not an everyday thing. It's just so you 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 bring your skin back to what it used to be or you just help your skin to be better. That's basically what you do slugging for. So try to get more hydrating um, gels and get um, rich moisturizers. Okay, so... Now, when I say rich, I mean rich hydrating moisturizers. They're not just thick, but they give hydration, like they give water. You understand? They give your skin water. Why it is dry is because it lacks water. It does not produce water on its own. So it needs help. It needs that boost. So your moisturizer is going to help you a great deal to, you know, so try doing that try using moisturizers that have hyaluronic acid in them that also you know promotes hydration then, you should also try exfoliating maybe your skin just has a lot of dead skin cells and you know it's clogged it's blocked and nothing your moisturizers are not getting in because it's just on the surface it's meant to penetrate into your skin so you should try exfoliating i know for dry skin you can't exfoliate as much but you need to still exfoliate. So get gentle exfoliations or exfoliants. Get gentle exfoliants to help you to take away those dead skin cells so that you'll be able to get the nutrients out of your moisturizers. 
okay thing we're going to be talking about is acne and acne would go for oily skin definitely because i mean a dry skin can also get acne but it's really not so it's not like if if you're getting acne then that means your your pores are clogged you need to exfoliate you're not exfoliating okay your routine is not securing you enough that is why someone has you know um like dry skin would get acne your your pores are clogged you need to exfoliate so and for someone who has acne and your oily skin that means you're using moisturizers that are too heavy for your skin type you're not um using the right moisturizer so maybe you should go into your routine check the ingredients check the product itself are you using creams change your creams change them to serums or gels okay it has to be lightweight very lightweight i mean when you put it on your palm it's meant to like be almost like your skin like your palm skin that is the consistency we need we don't need heavy things because it's just only going to clog the pores and when your pores are clogged honestly you're just going to have acne you're just going to break out everywhere and you know like it just keeps transferring so you need to like throw away throw away that thick cream throw away that thick moisturizer don't when we're talking about okay no we know we've been saying that you know oily skin needs hydration now too and all of that but when we're talking about oil skin needs hydration we don't mean that you should go and get a uh, um, moisturizers for dry skin and start using them on your face okay you need to apply moisturizers that are um um lightweight and water based and not oily based so water-based moisturizers would help penetrate give you hydration and it won't clog your pores it only just give you hydration and it will help your skin know that okay you know what i don't need to you know produce oil i just need to relax i just need to chill and there's oil already because your product is doing that for you so that's it so switch your your moisturizers from the heavy ones to to you know the light weights and so use serums use hydrating gels those are more suitable for you at this point to help you to fight and then um you should also use um creams that have hyaluronic acid everybody needs hyaluronic acid honestly it will help you a great deal and also like i said heavy creams maybe you've been using your body cream on your face maybe you should stop doing that it's not good so what these heavy creams will do is to clog your pores and would increase um oil production which leads to acne fourth thing i'm going to be talking about is oiliness oiliness is still the same thing with acne but then why 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 i'm talking about oiliness is the fact that you are just over shining when you don't need to shine you are shining why you just did your routine and then you're not seeing that you're shining like you're shining more than you just i don't understand like i mean it's been over four hours and i'm still shining like something is like did somebody pour oil like cooking oil on your face or something so when you notice that please relax you don't need to panic just check your routine what are you doing wrong the best uh, answer would be that you're using something heavy like i said before you're you're using something heavy you're you're not using something that is giving your skin what it needs so your skin is overcompensating for what it lacks okay, switch your moisturizers to um something that has um glycolic or salicylic acid in them that would help to fight you know the oil production Definitely, i've said this before water-based products water-based products water-based products stop using the oils like drop the oils it's too toxic drop the oils start using water-based products 
okay they are light they penetrate faster always just stay on the face and they don't do anything they only just clog oh they do something they clog your pores and then your skin starts to overcompensate and then produces oils for you and all of that and it doesn't just help the fifth all. one would be bombs so now we're talking about bombs i mean these are not acne they are, they are little clusters of white bombs okay so they look like white heads but they're not white head because there's a protrusion there's a protrusion on the face so they are not acne don't pop them go to your dermatologist or your skincare um therapist to help you to you know fight this thing to help you to discover how to take care of it do not pop them you can't even pop them if you try unless you want to poke them with something sharp and then that would cause irritation which you do not want to do okay so you need to um, you need to meet a specialist to help you with this and um why you might be seeing this white this little clump clumps of white um bumps might be because you're using your body cream on your face so you're using your body moisturizers on your face if you're still using your body moisturizer on your face i don't know what to tell you but my sister my brother um it's time for you to change okay i don't want to say anything more than that but you need to stop doing that so if you've been noticing those little white bumps on your face please stop using your body moisturizer on your face okay the face is really sensitive than other parts of your body okay so and there are ingredients for your body lotions your body creams your body moisturizers they are ingredients that are not suitable for the face and that is why you would see it boldly written there body moisturizer they didn't say body and face they said body moisturizer and then when you're even talking about body and face moisturizers any brand any um formulator that is going to be creating that is going to definitely make it suitable for the face and when i mean is they're going to make it suitable is that they are going to actually make it to be lightweight they won't make it as heavy as it would just be a normal body lotion okay so stop using your body lotion on your face that is going to help what you should do is to get a separate uh face moisturizer according to your skin type actually you cannot just go and pick up any random ones you have to get the ones that are going to be you know coming and you know um do other things like exfoliate you know give your face hydration you know like by the time you start using the right moisturizer definitely this condition is actually going to go away so it's something that you just need to all of this i've said is just something that you just need to you know check the product you're using maybe it's time for you to update yourself update your moisturizer or get the right moisturizer for your skin type that's just it there is no buhaha there is no new thing it's still the same thing i'm gonna say so you just need to do better and reevaluate everything so this hopefully warning signs would cause you to actually reevaluate update your remember always see your dermatologist if you notice anything on your face something that you have tried your own knowledge okay so the thing is that do not try too much if you can't fix a problem with your regular product i think it's time for you to go and see a dermatologist before you you know do further harm okay because you know you're using money you're spending money so it's not wise that you you could just go to the hospital you could just go to a clinic and you know get this checked and save uh, and save more money for yourself than going to go buy all the products that you see in the market or you see on instagram or anywhere else and then you don't get the result that you need so please always go to check with a dermatologist or your skin therapist it's very important to seek a professional opinion when you notice anything any changes on your face okay anyway guys so that is all about the 
signs that you're using the wrong moisturizer on your face and um, if you have any questions for me let me know in the comment section i'll be there waiting to respond to any of your questions please guys don't forget to always like when you watch my videos okay like click the like button it will help you know youtube to push my videos up so more people can see me and know that i'm here i want to build a community so please join me to build this community okay and don't forget to subscribe it's very important too that you subscribe because we need to get to 1000 subscribers okay all right okay anyway guys that's all see you guys in my next video bye guys